The glass art movement really began here in Toledo in 1962 when two workshops were held. Um, Otto Whitman, who was the director of the Toledo Museum of Art then, invited Harvey Littleton, who was the intellectual driving force for the glass movement, to come here. Toledo goes way back. Um, the New England Glass Company moved here in the late 1800s. Edward Drummond Libby built the Libby Company here in Toledo and started producing hand-blown glass tableware. Mike Owens, uh, working for Libby, making a machine that automatically blows vessel forms and tableware. Pilkington Glass makes miles and miles of sheet glass just across the river. Johns Manville produced a product that helped get the first glass workshop going. They made a 475 marble. That marble was what Dominic Labino brought to the first workshop for the students to melt and then blow glass from. From 1966 through 1971, survey exhibitions were organized inviting individual glass artists to come to Toledo. And then a major exhibition was held in 71, which declared that this individual glass making had now become a team effort, not just in America, but around the world. I was attracted to come to Toledo because it has a marvelous museum, which has multiple buildings, uh, each of which has won architectural awards. Our new glass pavilion has been a big draw for a lot of very well-known glass artists. Every work of glass that we acquire for the museum is subject to the same criteria that we apply to every single work that comes into the museum. It has to be of significant quality, I mean really the best of its kind. It has to be of technical virtuosity and it has to have real imagination and creativity so that it really engages the public emotionally. When people come here they're going to be surprised how much is going on. They're going to enjoy uh, visiting a lot of the studios that we have and seeing the kind of work that's being done. Ohio has an awful lot of activity in glass arts. You might want to stay a while and check it out. The conference itself is commemorating the launch of the contemporary glass movement. exciting it's got lots of secrets to show you I would encourage anybody who is thinking about it to get themselves here in 2012 come have a great time you'll enjoy yourself